Barakata Yahwa, Barakata Yahusha, Barakata Yahwa, Barakata Yahusha, Barakata Yahwa, Barakata Yahusha, Bashem, Makakudash. Double honor to the apostles, the elders. Salutations to you, sincere brothers, teaching the truth and in sincerity. This lesson will be entitled Social Conditioning Located in the Scriptures. According to Google, Conditioning means the process of training or accustoming a person or animal to behave in a certain way or to accept certain circumstances. The origin of conditioning goes into agreement or agreed upon. Case example. John 21 and 15. So when they had died, Yahweh said to Simon Peter, Simon, son of Jonas, lovest thou me more than these? He said unto him, Yea, Lord, thou knowest that I love thee. He said unto him, Feed my lambs. Verse 16. He said to him again a second time, Simon, son of Jonas, lovest thou me? He saith unto him, Yea, Lord, thou knowest that I love thee. He saith unto him, Feed my sheep. Verse 17. He saith unto him the third time, Simon, son of Jonas, lovest thou me? Peter, Peter was grieved because he said unto him the third time, Lovest thou me? And he said unto him, Lord, thou knowest all things. Thou knowest that I love thee, Yahweh said unto him, Feed my sheep. What you are witnessing is social conditioning. Okay, social is nothing but communication amongst people. And in this case example, the um, communication was amongst Yahweh and Peter. Okay, now. Yahweh asked Peter, Lovest thou me more than these? Okay, and the reason why he did this uh, for three times is because he was conditioning Peter to fulfill his role within the ministry. Okay, point blank period. Okay, this is where Esau gets social conditioning from. All right. Esau is nothing but a copycat. There's nothing prolific about him. Okay? When we apply spiritual insight to this definition, the process of training, and when you compare John 21 Verse 15 through 17. Okay. Yahweh was in a process of training Peter or accustoming a person or animal to behave in a certain way. Right. And Yahweh was um, grooming Peter to do the work. Okay, this is how Peter was supposed to behave once Yahweh departed, okay, or to accept certain circumstances. And the certain circumstances Peter had to accept was that he was the head of the church as well as he had obligations to fulfill such as teaching, okay. And like I said before, when you just think about conditioning in a nutshell, it's an agreement. So the agreement was amongst Yahweh Shai and Peter, okay? Or agree upon. What did they agree upon? That Peter would teach, okay? And fulfill his obligations within the ministry, okay?
John 21 and 17, he said unto him the third time, Simon, the son of Jonas, lovest thou me? Peter was grieved because he said unto him the third time, lovest thou me? And he said unto him, Lord, thou knowest all things. Thou knowest that I love thee. Yahweh said unto him, feed my sheep. All right. And when we explore feed in the Greek, Strong's G, 1006, Bosco, Bosco. And according to 1A, portraying the duty of a Mashiach teacher to promote in every way the spiritual welfare of the members of the church. Okay. This is the reason why the Hawashai conditioned Peter. Okay. And also, when you look up that term, psych, um, psychiatry, all right, the origin goes back to the healing of the soul. And only the scriptures can do this because the scriptures are inspired by Yahweh, by Shem El Shai, and not pharmaceuticals, okay, given by Esau. Lord, we all do a follow-up lesson on this. Um, Lord, will you edify Shalom?